In today's video, we are going to review the process of consisting locomotives with the new Digitrax throttles. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. This channel is all about model railroading in small spaces, N-scale, Z-scale, HO-scale, modular layouts, tutorials, reviews, and running trains. Please click the thumbs up if you enjoy the content on this channel. I do not get to consist my locomotives very often. And any time I do get an opportunity, I forget the process, even though it's really simple. So I'm creating this video. Consisting, as it relates to this video, is defined as a set of railroad vehicles forming a complete train. And more specifically, we are going to create motor power consists. In today's video, I'm going to be using Digitrax and DigiKeys DCC items. I will be using a Digitrax UT6D and a Digitrax DT602D throttle. Both throttles are connected via Digitrax UR93 duplex transceiver. The command station is a DigiKeys DR5000. All of these items can be purchased from Iron Planet Hobbies. Please use the discount code HUMAN at checkout for 10% off and free shipping in the USA. There are three methods of consisting that Digitrax uses, basic, advanced, and universal. In this video, we'll be using universal consisting. With universal consisting, the information is stored in the command station. Universal consisting does not change any of the CVs on the locomotive decoder or change any of the throttle settings. When you send commands to the consist, you use the address of the top locomotive to control the entire consist, and the command station handles the rest of the commands to the other locomotives. Advanced consisting, on the other hand, is accomplished by adjusting CV1921 and 22 on the locomotive decoder. With advanced consisting, the information is stored in the locomotives. I'm not gonna cover any more differences between advanced consisting and universal consisting, and which brands of DCC systems use which methods. Moving forward in this video, I will be showing the use of universal consisting with Digitrax throttles and a DigiKeys command station. For programming purposes, Digitrax calls a consist a multiple unit operation, or MU operation. On the throttle, the buttons will be labeled with the letters MU. Let's start with the UT60 throttle and three locomotives. In previous generations of Digitrax utility throttles, you cannot program a consist on the throttle. This feature is now available as well as throwing switch motors. The locomotives that I'm using are all Broadway Limited Imports SD70 Ace heritage units. The first or top locomotive is road number 1066, the New York Central, and it is also set to the DCC address 1066. The second locomotive is number 1067, Reading Lines, and the third is 1073, Penn Central. After turning on the throttle, the first thing that I did was to turn on the track power so that I did not forget and wonder why the locomotives would not move. You do this by hitting the power button and then the left soft key labeled track on. I then selected DCC address 1066 using the top left locomotive button and confirmed I had control by running it forward. I then pressed the locomotive button again, then pressed the menu button on the upper right. This brought up a set of soft keys and the one on the left is MU plus. You press the number nine button, which selects MU plus. Then you type in the next locomotive number 1067 and press the F button. Then press the locomotive button to exit consisting setup. I then tested to confirm I had control of the first two locomotives. I kept the space between the locomotives during setup so that I could verify each locomotive was operating correctly. I then followed the same steps again to add the third loco. Press the loco button on the throttle, then press menu and nine, the MU plus button, enter the locomotive DCC address, press F, and then the locomotive button to exit and reselect the top loco. There is one step that I skipped in that previous demonstration because I already had the locomotives ready to go. Do you know what that step was? But first, let's take a close look at the LCD while consisting. If you forget what to do, there is a text scrolling along the bottom of the LCD on the throttle that can remind you of the steps. To add to consist, Press the address number, then the F key. Loco key ends. After pressing the F button, it says Loco consisted. After pressing Loco, 
ending consists tasks. The reason that I found the scrolling text valuable is that the DT602D throttle, which has additional buttons, has a slightly different process. When a locomotive is in a consist, and you type in the locomotive number and press the menu button, there is now a soft key MU- option above the 8 button. To remove the locomotive from the consist, press the 8 button and then F. Hit the locomotive button to exit out of consisting mode and reselect the top loco. The first two locomotives are still consisted, but the third one has been removed. To remove the second locomotive, follow the same procedure again. Press the locomotive button in the locomotive address, press the menu button, and then the 8 button below the MU minus. Then F to confirm, and the locomotive button to exit. And now we are back to the beginning where none of the locomotives are consisted together. Remember that step that I told you I skipped earlier? Here's what happens when you skip it. Once again, I selected the top or first locomotive and then consisted the second locomotive to it. If you were watching the LCD very closely, you will have seen that the first locomotive was set in reverse and the second locomotive is set to forward. So when I change the direction switch and check control of the locomotives, they go in opposite directions instead of the same physical direction. Step one of consisting is that you need to make sure that all of the locomotives are traveling in the same physical direction before you begin the consisting procedure. The consisting process works much better when I complete all of the steps in order and do not start at step two. If you want to run the second locomotive long hood forward, it's as simple as following all of the consisting steps, especially starting with step one where you confirm that the direction of all the locomotives match prior to consisting. I remove the second locomotive from the consist, change its running direction to match the front locomotive, then I add the second locomotive back to the consist. Now let's take a look at the difference between consisting on the DT602D throttle instead of the UT6D throttle. They are the same generation of throttle but have some minor differences in operation. In previous generations of the DT series throttle, you had to add the main or top locomotive to the right throttle and the locomotive that you want to add to the consist to the left throttle. With this generation of throttles, you can complete the consisting process on one side of the throttle. On the utility throttle, you use the 7, 8, and 9 buttons to double as the soft keys for the LCD. On the DT throttle, you have dedicated soft keys A, B, and C. Instead of having to press the menu button, you now press the A button to go into MU mode. There is also not an F button to confirm and to exit the consisting mode, there is only an exit soft key, the C button. Removing locomotives from the consist follow the same process as the utility throttle with the different button mapping. One thing that I did not demonstrate in this video is that you do not need to exit the consisting mode between adding locomotives. You can just keep adding locomotives by typing in their addresses and hitting the MU plus button then only hit the exit button once you've completed adding all of the locomotives to the consist. After confirming that I had all the locomotives consisted that I wanted, I pressed the locomotive button, then the soft key C for more, and then the soft key A to dispatch the consist from the throttle. Once dispatched, I was able to then select the consist using the top locomotive address on a different throttle. Since I'm using universal consisting, all of the information is stored in the command station, so there's a smooth handover. Just for fun, and to confirm it was possible, I did a small test. Using the DT602D throttle, I consisted 1066 and 1067 together, and then dispatched that consist. Then, on the UT6D, I checked that locomotive 1067 was consisted, which was confirmed by the MU- soft key being available. And then on this throttle, I removed the second locomotive from the consist. My unscientific conclusion is that with universal consisting, you can create a consist on one throttle and then change it on a different throttle. I learned a few things while researching for this video, which I'm going to share now, but I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts on my opinions. And we all know what people say about opinions. My unscientific conclusion is that there is a group of model railroaders that use advanced consisting programming the CVs because of the additional control that you have over how your consist functions. 
As an example, by utilizing JMRI's Decoder Pro, you can fine tune all of the lighting and sound functions by adjusting the CVs on the decoder to achieve prototypical operation of a mode of power consist. And then there are people like me that like to rail fan their layout and will use universal consisting as a quick way to get trains running, but that we give up the additional control for the ease of operation. Or there's the possibility that this information is completely inaccurate and derived from a much too small sample size. If you want to help me increase my accuracy, please let me know which method of consisting that you use and why. I am what I am because of who we all are. And now a really huge thank you to all of my supporters on both Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, and those that purchase items from my Teespring store. If you would like to find out more information about how to support this channel, all of the links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to be notified about future videos and join this community. Thank you and have a great day. Advanced consisting, on the other hand, is accomplished <coughs>